so hi everyone today we are going to discuss 8086 instruction sets so first we are going to see add instructions so this this is one of the arithmetic instruction add and adc so adc means add with carry add mean add without carry so we'll see add instructions or arithmetic instructions used to add provided byte to byte or word to word byte means 8 bit value word means 16 bit value so here we have given a general uh, instruction to understand which one is operands and which one is op code so see here add we given this is this is our operational code or we can say op code or we can say mnemonic so this operation we are going to perform on this values on this operands so first operand is destination operand second operand is source operand so remember always first one is destination second one is source and this is op code so we'll see one by one so now see uh, this add instruction adds the data in the source to the destination which means it will add uh, source with destination and the result will be stored in this destination only in possible combinations of operands or register register will be possible register immediate will be possible register memory will be possible memory immediate will be possible and memory register will be possible so immediate immediate will not come and memory memory also will not come directly so now we will see all this uh, byte operation and word operations and with carry without carry so first one add source and destination both are registers here so add al comma cl so al cl both are 8 bit general purpose registers we know now what what we are going what this particular instruction performs it is going to perform 8 bit addition which means it is going to add the contents of cl to al and stores the result in al so this is what this particular instruction going to perform first it will add al and cl contents 8 bit content then the final result will be stored in al already i told this will this is destination operand and this is source operand and source operand will add with destination then final result will be stored in the destination only so see this here in al we have f0 and in cl we have 05 so now we are going to add this f0 and 05 so see this one f0 and 05 after adding we are getting f5 and this f5 is stored in al so this is what this is what the addition of 8 bit values so 8 bit addition we performed and finally we got f5 value and that f5 value stored in the destination operand next one add cl comma 22h so this 22 is a 8 bit data directly given in the instruction itself so what we are going to perform here we are going to perform addition operation 
so what what so what are the values we are going to add we are going to add the content of cl 8 bit data in cl plus the 22 which ever is given in the instruction directly so cl plus content of cl plus 22 we are going to perform so in cl and the result will be stored in cl only right in cl we have 505 h so this 05 we are going to add with 22 then the result will be stored in cl only so we'll see so see this one 05 we added with uh, 22 sorry 22 then the result will result will be 27 so that result is stored in cl next one add cl comma inside the square bracket we have 4 3 2 1 so whenever square bracket is given so we should understand that is a memory location where 8 bit data is stored where the 8 bit data will will be available so remember inside the square bracket if a when there comes any register name or any 16 bit value like this then you should understand that this is an offset or we can say this is a memory location where the data is stored so that 8 bit data we are going to add with the 8 bit value in CL so in CL what 8 bit value we have 0, 05 we have right so this 0, 05 we are going to add with the 8 bit value which is available in this memory location ok so see this one the next step I will show you see this here in this this is what the location required location which we want so in that required location we have double one double one double zero double zero this is the 8 bit value available in this required location ok based on this offset I can I can reach out this location from the base location we know already the formula to uh, by uh, formula to calculate physical address uh, segment address into 10 plus the offset plus this offset right so after calculating that physical address we will reach this location once we reach this location which 8 bit data I have double one double one double zero double zero this 8 bit data I am going to add with this with this 8 bit data which is there in CL so convert this hexadecimal value 0, 05 into binary what you will get triple zero double zero one zero one so this value I am going to add with with the 8 bit value which is there in the memory location so add this value finally I am getting double one double one zero one zero one this value I am going to store in CL so see here now the value we are going to we are going to store in CL the result is stored in CL right so we will see the next one so now see now destination operand is memory whereas source operand is register ok now it is reverse previously destination was register source was memory now here source sorry destination is memory and source is register now same addition operation only we are going to perform but final result we are going to store in in the memory location previously we stored the result in CL now we are going to store in this memory location which memory location in this memory location ok now we will see what we are going to perform and remember that inside the square bracket whenever like this 4 hexadecimal values given means that is offset and this is the memory location where your 8 bit data is available 
So take that 8 bit data after calculating this physical address. So we assume that ds start from 5000. Then use the formula to calculate physical address. What is the formula? Segment address into 10 plus the given offset. What is the offset given? 4321 is given. So we will get 54321. So this location whatever the value is there. That value we are going to add with CL. Then the final result after adding this uh, both 8 bit values we will get one result. No, that result we are going to store in that same memory location. Okay. So in CL what 8 bit value I am having? Double zero double zero double one double one. And in this memory location from the base from the base location how far my required location is 4321 this is what the distance generally offset means distance right so this required location is 4321 away from the base location now I reached this required location where double one double one double zero double zero eight bit value is available so now we are going to add this 8 bit value with this 8 bit value. See this, I performed that addition, 8 bit addition. Now I am getting all or ones. So that result I am going to store in this member location. See here, I stored the result 1111111 in this member location. I hope you understand this addition of 8 bit values with register register and uh, register direct data or register memory location or memory location register next one is 16 bit values so for 8 bit addition we did now 16 bit addition we are going to discuss how I am telling by seeing this instruction only it is 16 bit by seeing this CX only I am telling this is the 16 bit addition ok so see register whenever register value is given like this so see this register directly you can understand we are going to perform 16 bit addition addition or subtraction or division multiplication whatever and sometimes from by seeing the data also you can identify whether it is 8 bit or 16 bit sometimes if they are given like 2 triple zero without this square bracket I am telling 2 triple zero like that if they given or this 4 3 2 1 only if they given without square bracket then we come to understand this is 16 bit value so this is 16 bit addition we are going to perform like that you can understand right so we'll see how we are going to perform this addition so add cx comma inside the square bracket they given 4 3 2 1 so we know very well if the square bracket is given then this is a memory location or we can say it is an offset okay so whenever offset is given then you need to know the base address of that particular segment we are assuming here data segments base address is 5000H and by using this base address and offset we can calculate physical address physical address calculation uh, to calculate physical address formula is segment address into 10 plus offset offset address right so segment we assume that 5000 into 10 plus 4321 it is given in the question in the instruction itself uh, then the physical address will be 54321 so this is your um, base location so see this this is your base location start with uh, 5000 right so from here we should travel 4321 distance then I will reach 54321 this is my required location 
where 8 bit data is available see 8 bit data is available but you are going to add this 8 bit data with 16 bit right cx means it will store 16 bit value right so if this is 16 bit value then this also should be 16 bit value only that's why in the first slide only we said byte to byte or word to word okay 8 bit with 8 bit addition is possible and 16 bit with 16 bit that addition also be possible so here 16 bit register we have taken so that here also you should take 16 bit value only in this required location we have only 8 bit value um, then where is the remaining 8 bit value means we should take the next higher byte in the next memory location from this required memory location this is what actually given in this instruction so we reached here here we have 8 bit data this is lower byte higher byte I need because totally I need 16 bit data so I got 8 lower 8, 8 byte and higher right by 8 byte I will be getting in the in the next higher memory location this is 54321 next one will be 22 here it is 21 next you have to go and there you will you can get 8 bit value so totally AA30 is your 16 bit value that AA30 we are going to add with this 0302 in CX what we have 0302 so CX is nothing but combination of CH and CL CL is having lower byte CH is having higher byte similarly here 30 is lower byte AA is higher byte lower byte is always in the uh, low memory location lower memory location higher byte will always be in the higher memory location ok so now we are going to add the two 16 bit values 0302 and AA30 0302 I am getting from CX AA30 I am getting from these two memory locations then after performing the 16 bit addition I am getting AD32 ok so this AD32 I am going to store in CX only see this instruction destination is CX right so you are going to store this AD32 in CX so here CX is nothing but combination of CH and CL right so how we are going to store lower byte 32 will be stored in CL and higher byte AD will be stored in CH see here AD stored in CH 32 stored in CL I hope you understand this 16 bit addition oh, next one previously memory location was in source or was a source operand now memory location was a destination operand just reverse process that's it previously whatever we did and final result we stored in CX in this case final result you are going to store the memory location that's it ok the same thing we took we assumed that DS base address is 5000 and we calculated physical address finally I got 54321 and from the base 54321 is here and in this memory location I have 30 and I should consider the next higher byte also because here CX is there if CX is there then you should understand that this is 16 bit addition we are going to add 16 bit value so you should take higher byte also higher byte you should you can take from the higher memory location means next memory location don't take from 20 lower don't come this side 
should go this side next member location okay from there you can get higher byte so now we are in cx what we have 20 and 25 we have now we are going to perform the 16 bit addition so see this 2025 plus aa30 after adding i am getting ca55 so 55 is the lower byte this is the result right ca55 is the result after adding this two 16 bit value i am getting ca55 in this result 55 is lower byte that lower byte i am going to store in this lower memory location and higher byte is ca this higher byte i am going to store in this higher memory location remember always higher memory location hold higher byte lower memory location hold lower 8 bit value or lower byte ok next one add al comma si inside the square bracket si is given ok so si will be used for uh, whenever si is given in the instruction like this inside the square bracket should understand that this particular instruction is based on data segment if da is given then that particular will deals with extra segment ok so here si is given this is also nothing but an offset so we know very well inside the square bracket if any value 16 bit value given or any uh, registers like this any name if it is given then we, sh we should understand that that is a memory location ok in this place you can take uh, you may take da also sometimes may come bx also may come bp may come sp may come if da comes here you should take extra segment if bx comes data segment only if bp comes or sp comes that time stack segment you should take ok sometimes bp will come for uh, data segments also this point is particularly we use for stack segments so whenever bp sp comes you should understand that stack segment base value we should we should consider we should assume right so those pointers are used to point this stack segment and uh, this si bx and all used for data segments ok so we are going to assume here si is given what we are going to perform here we are going to perform 8 bit addition again because here al is given so this is 8 bit register general purpose register in this place bl also may come bh may come or ah may come cl ch dl dh any 8 bit register may come ok so if any of the 8 bit value comes the same operation only you are going to perform only thing is in place of al some other registers you should take it as a destination that is it right so now we are going to assume ds base address that is 500 and si also you should assume that is 1102 so we are assuming here right if in case they given in the question then you should take that offset value only that base address only ok now we know how to calculate physical address the formula is segment address into 10 plus offset so segment address is 500 into 10 it become 500 plus offset is 1102 after adding we are getting 5102 this is your 20 bit physical address then see this data segment external memory the base address is 500 from here i should travel 1102 distance this is your offset offset or distance 1102 distance i should travel from this base to reach my required location now i reached my required location in this location i have a 8 bit data that is f naught okay 
this f0 i am going to add with the 8 bit content which is there in al what 8 bit content we have 0 to we have right so this 0 to you are going to add with f0 so see see i performed the addition 0 to i added with f0 then i got f2 now this this is a result right 8 bit result this 8 bit result i am going to store in al because al is destination operand this is a source operand so al is destination so that the result is stored in al i hope you understand how we performed this 8 bit addition the next one is reverse previously memory was here memory was a source operand now memory is a destination operand so we are going to add 8 bit value or 16 bit value by seeing this CL I can understand I am going to perform 8 bit addition ok now again DS because SI is given inside the square bracket and this is the memory location or offset address so you should take data segment only so assume data segment 5000 and offset is 1102 we know how to calculate physical address after calculating after calculating after uh, we are getting the 20 bit physical address 51102 then from the base location we should travel 1102 distance then we can reach this required location that is 51102 here f0 is available so this value i am going to add with the 8 bit content stored in cl what 8 bit content i am having here 32 so this 32 i am going to add with f0 so see f0 and 32 i added then finally i got 22 i got 22 right so that 22 you are going to store in this memory location any carry is coming but here I have given uh, carry is coming it will be reflected in carry flag so here we are getting 22 8 bit value finally you are going to store that 8 bit result in the memory location that is 22 right now next one add ch comma inside the square bracket bx plus 4h so what form is this uh, ch is register and bx plus 4 that also given inside the square bracket so whenever square bracket comes we can understand that is a memory location that is a memory location or offset ok but along with bx plus 4 also given this plus 4 is nothing but displacement this is nothing but displacement ok so in, in bx 16 bit value will be there that 16 bit value you are going to add with this 4 to get the offset offset means distance from the base to the required location so see here directly I did F0 is here and 1 was here in CH I have 1 yeah, and in the, mem in the memory location I have F0 so add that F0 and 1 finally the result is F1 that F1 we stored in CH right and by seeing this CH only you have to understand we are going to perform 8 bit addition next one now tell me by seeing this instruction uh, is it 8 bit addition or 16 bit addition we are going to perform 16 bit addition because cx is given cx is a 16 bit register right now we will see how we are going to perform this addition so see here bx plus 4 after solving this we will get some offset value right once we get that offset value then i can travel from this base location to my required location 
So once I reached here, then I I will get the 8-bit data which is there in this required memory location, right? Actually, we are going to perform 16-bit addition. So you need to here I have only 8-bit data. One one more 8-bit data I want so that that. higher byte i can get in the next memory location which means higher memory location okay after this you can't come down should go next to this there there also one 8 bit data will be there that 8 bit data you should take it as a higher byte so higher byte is 0 0 lower byte is f not and from cx what i have fd and e not i have fp and okay sorry this is f not here i have taken f not no 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 wait no fa and f sorry 5a and f not is there in cx here 00 f not is there so after taking these values and after adding these values we will get fd e not that result only i stored in cx okay so i hope you understand this 16 bit addition so all are same only uh, here register register if it comes then by seeing the register you should understand that whether it is 8 bit or 16 bit if it is a 8 bit register then you are going to perform 8 bit addition If it is a 16 bit register then you are going to perform 16 bit addition sometimes directly data they will give then you take that data and add sometimes like this memory location they will give so what we need to do we need to calculate physical address and we should go to that memory location from there you should fetch the data if it is 8 bit addition then you should you can fetch the data from that particular required memory location that itself enough but if it is a 16 bit addition so that time you should remember we have to take the required memory location data as well as next memory location data also okay required memory location data will be lower byte and next memory location data will be the higher byte So like that we need to do, okay. And locate mem register memory will come, memory register will come like that and all. It will come, okay. But ultimately we are doing addition operation. That's it. Next one, see here. As I said, now memory is here. Reverse. Previously memory was here. Now memory is here. This side. right and by seeing this cl i can understand i am going to perform 8 bit addition operation okay so now we are going to see we are going to assume uh, here bx si given i told you whenever si comes or bx comes that time we should take data segment only you should assume the data segment if di comes that time you should take extra segment if sp bp comes that time you should take stack segment okay okay now data segments base address we assume that is 500 and si also we assume 4321 bx also we assume 100 now you are going to add this si and bx to get offset so when you add si and bx you will get 5321 now you know the formula to calculate physical address that is segment address into 10 plus plus the offset offset is 5321 right so after adding all these values we are getting 55321 so that is what the physical address 20 bit physical address so your base value is your base value is is 50000 that is the base value then i should travel 5321 distance to reach this required location memory location okay in this memory location what i have f not i have okay this f not i am going to add with cl cl content 
8 bit cl uh, 8 bit content in the cl register what 8 bit content i have in the cl register that is 05 so you are going to add f0 and 05 so after adding f0 and 05 we will get f5 that f5 we should store in memory location because see this instruction this is the destination operand so result will be stored in the destination operand only that's why here they given we will store the result in memory so f5 will be stored in this memory location okay i hope you understand this 8 bit addition now next one b a base register given index register also given plus displacement also given okay all are given inside the square bracket whenever square bracket given we should understand that that is a offset or memory location okay by seeing this dl we should understand that this is a 8 bit addition we are going to perform 8 bit addition okay now we'll see in dl what 8 bit content i'm having that is 05 and in that memory location what 8 bit content i'm having after solving this this one we should assume bx value si value after solving this the required location we will travel from the base then this is your required lo memory location in this memory location i have 8 bit data that is 90 so this 90 i am going to add with this 5 and after adding we will get 95 this 95 i am going to store in this memory location because in this instruction see this instruction here this memory location is destination operand dl is source operand so whichever is destination operand there you need to store the result okay in the destination operand you need to store stores the result so result will be stored in the memory location here so for add we discussed now adc we are going to discuss so only difference is we are going to add carry flag status also if carry flag status is 1 then we will add that one if carry flag status is 0 then that 0 we are going to add so remember carry flag value also we are going to add along with this two 8 bit values 8 bit or 16 bit okay if carry is not adding then that is add instruction if carry is added with the uh, with the result then that is adc instruction right now by seeing this al and cl i can easily understand we are going to perform 8 bit addition okay see this one in al what i have f not i have in cl what i have 0 5 i have okay and carry flag status is 1 now i am going to add all the three values f not 0 5 and carry flag 1 after adding i am getting f6 this f6 i am going to store in al because in this instruction see this instruction this is a destination operand so result will be stored in al see store result in al so in al we store the result f6 okay next one immediate data given in the instruction now by seeing this register cl i can understand i am going to perform 8 bit addition right along with the carry flag status also fine now in cl see in cl i have 22 i have 2 2 right this 2 2 i am going to add with this 2 2 so that's what given here 2 2 i added with this 2 2 along with the carry flag status so 22 plus 22 plus 1 is 4 5 this 4 5 is the result which i am going to store in cl because in this instruction cl is a destination operand so see here and one more case 
here they have given this is 16 bit addition with carry adc ax comma 200 i told na here uh, uh, in previously one uh, when we are discussing that time i told uh, by seeing this 16 bit value also we can understand we are going to perform 16 bit addition so without square bracket they given remember if square bracket given then you should take this is a memory location if square bracket is not there then you should consider it as a data four values given means 16 bit data two values if they given then 8 bit then that is a 8 bit data okay by seeing this ax and 2000 we can understand we are going to perform here 16 bit addition we are going to perform 16 bit addition here now you see this is 8 bit addition which we have done this is for here now 16 bit is given here ax plus 2000 plus the carry flag status what is there in ax 2525 that is uh, we know very well ax means combination of ah and al ah is having 25 al is having 25 so combine 2525 then ax is having 16 bit value of 2525 then this 2525 i am going to add with 2000 along with carry flag status 1 then the result will be 4526 here i got 45 here i am getting 4526 now this value i am going to store in ax ax means com combination of ah and al this 45 i am going to store in cl because see this instruction cl is destination here and ax is destination here okay we will see the result now see all the registers are changed with these values cl stored with 45 and ax stored with 4526 i hope you understand how to perform this add with carry 8 bit operation as well as 16 bit operation next one adc cl comma 4321 inside the square bracket they given so register comma memory and finally you are going to store the result in cl because cl is here destination operand and inside the square bracket they given 4 16 bit value which means this is the offset or memory location so here you need to consider uh, ds base address then by using that base address and offset address we can calculate physical address after calculating we are getting the 20 bit physical address that is 54321 and from the base we should travel 4321 distance to reach this memory location now i reached 54321 memory location this location i reached here i have 8 bit data that is double one double one double zero double zero this value i am going to add with the 8 bit content present in cl what content i have in cl double zero double zero double one double zero okay this value i am going to add with this along with carry also okay so see here carry flag is one and this value taken first triple uh, double zero double zero double one double zero and this value also taken that is double one double one double zero double zero then carry all carry flag status also added finally i am getting this result and this result is stored in cl see this instruction according to the instruction cl is the destination operand that's why result is stored in cl next one is by seeing this cx i can understand i am going to perform 16 bit addition i am going to perform 16 bit addition and these four values inside the square bracket they given by seeing this i can understand this is a memory location or offset okay now you have to assume ds 
starting address is 5000 if they given ds value then you should take that base address that was the that is the segment address or base address for data segment like that you should take so for understanding purpose only here we are assuming the base address is 5000 like that okay so physical address how to calculate we know and finally i got the physical address 54321 and from the base location your required location is here how long it is from this base your memory lock okay, your required location is how long uh, how far from the base location 4321 distance okay see here 4321 distance i travel then i reach at that required location and in that required location i have 8 bit data 30 but this is 16 bit addition so in cx i have in cx what what was the value see in cx i have 0502 cx is nothing but combination of ch and cl right in general purpose register we discuss those things so in ch we have 5 and in cl we have 2 so take this 0502 value and take this 30 and aa value also okay it is a 16 bit addition so whenever 16 bit addition comes in the external memory location each memory location um, contains 8 bit value only one byte value only but here it is actually 16 bit addition so you need to take the higher byte from the higher memory location or next memory location okay so this is higher byte and 30 is lower byte aa is higher byte so aa 30 and from cx register i i am getting 0502 then carry flag status is 0 so take that 0 then add all the values i am getting af32 32 is the lower byte so this 32 will be stored in cl And AF is a higher byte. That AF will be stored in CH. So likewise, you can perform this also. Even this addition, 8 bit addition, 16 bit addition with carry, you can perform. I hope you understand uh, this add instructions. kindly practice this add instruction and we'll see the remaining topics in the upcoming classes thank you thank you all